Here are the supplies for my melt and pour soap. I've got everything already measured out here and I've cut it into little cubes just so it will melt a little bit easier when I put it in the microwave. I've got my silicone mold and isn't this just the cutest thing with these owls? They are so stinking cute. I've got some oatmeal, milk and honey soap scents here to add a little scent to my soaps as well as some colors and then just a popsicle stick so I can stir in those colors and scents into the soap base. Now, if you're not sure how much soap to use for your mold, really the easiest way is to just fill up one of the little sections with water and then dump it into a measuring cup. That will tell you how many ounces each section holds and then you can prepare that same amount of ounces in the soap base, which is what I've done here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is heat up my soap base, and I'm gonna do that in the microwave 30 seconds at a time, stirring between each heating cycle. I've done about a minute and a half so far, and you can see my melt is, or my soap is starting to melt, but it's not quite there yet, so let's keep going. So here is my completely melted soap base. Again, I did it 30 seconds at a time. Overall, it took about eight minutes, or I'm sorry, four minutes <laughs> to melt uh, about 21 ounces of the soap base in 30 second increments. And so the next thing we're going to do is add our scent. Now, I cannot stress enough when making soap or anything like that that you're going to be rubbing on your body, you need to make sure that it is cosmetic safe, whether it's the, the dye that we use, the scent, if you wanna put glitter in it, there is cosmetic glitter that you can use. Now with the, the, the scent, you want to use about one to two drops per ounce. So since this is 21 ounces, you could really use anywhere between 20 to 40 drops. So it's really just personal preference how strong of a scent you want your soap to have. So we're just gonna start with a couple because you can always add more, but of course you can't take any away. So one, get a better grip on it so I can squeeze it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's probably about fifteen drops. So we're gonna start there. And oh, I love this scent. It's so just yummy. It is honey, milk, and oatmeal. And it's so so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna give it a smell. Mm, and I can smell it. I want it to be just a little bit stronger. So I'm just gonna put in a couple more drops. I'm not gonna put in the full 40 by any means, but I put in a little bit more. And then we're just gonna stir that up. Next, I want to use a couple different colors. So I'm gonna bring in a couple different containers that I can pour the, the soap base into so I can color the different, um, color it different colors. That looks pretty close to even. Okay, so now I've divided it into three different containers. So that means that I'm gonna need some more popsicle sticks so that I can color each container by itself without mixing colors. And the colors that I've got here are a green, a purple, and like a pinkish red. And with the, the color, you can really use as much or as little as you want. It all depends on how dark you want your color to be. So I'm gonna start with just two drops here in the green. Oop, that turned out to be three. And we're gonna give it a stir. And that is really light green. So I'm gonna add some more. I did three, let's do about 10. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ooh, it's getting pretty. It's still not quite as dark as I want, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. 
maybe five more. One, two, three, four, five. I think that was about five. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's my green. It's kind of like a sage green. It's really pretty. Let's do purple. Let's move these out of the way. One, two, that was a squirt. We'll do, say that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoops, that was a squirt too. This one might be a little bit darker, but that's okay. Ooh, look at that pretty purple. I just thought since these are owls, owls are kind of fallish in my mind. We do some fun fall colors. Ooh, I like that purple. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then let's do our pinkish, magenta-ish, reddish one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and a couple extra. <laughs> and then we're gonna stir this one up. Ooh, it's more of an orange, which I think is perfect. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. That orange. I thought I grabbed the magenta, but the orange is even better. I love that. Okay, now I'm gonna add, I want my green to be just a little bit darker. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay. Now this is also when you would add the glitter if we were doing glitter, uh, but I am not doing glitter with these soaps today. Okay, so we've got our colors over here. And don't worry if these kind of set up a little bit, you can always re-melt them and just throw them back in the microwave to melt them back up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring back in my mold. Now for soap, I do not need to um, put any type of mold release or anything like that inside my silicone mold. So the soap base will come out just fine without any issues. But I did forget to mention when I said supplies, you will want a spray bottle of some alcohol. And the higher the percentage of the alcohol, the better. And the highest I found like at a CVS or a Walgreens is 91%, which is good. But really, if you can get even higher by buying it online, it works even better. And what the alcohol does is it helps bring those bubbles to the top and, um, and eliminates those bubbles. So you have a nice surface without any bubbles. Okay, so now comes the fun part of just pouring our soap base into our mold. And we can really do it however we want. We can mix colors. We can do um, each, you know, uh, the mold, excuse me, the mold, the full color. However we want, we can even mix the colors, or I'm sorry, like do a swirl, which is kind of what I'm doing there. Let's move over here to this one. The melt and pour soap is really so easy to use and it's so fun to use with the different molds. Okay, which one do I have the most of? Let's do this one, just purple. And we'll just finish off that one. And then cleanup is such a breeze with these because it's soap already. So you just run it under some hot water and, um, and wait for that soap to work itself away from the container, just like you were doing dishes. Okay, let me 
grab that. Okay, I don't want the chunks in there necessarily. So I could remount this one. But I think I am good. I have all of my bases filled or my molds filled. So now I'm going to take my, uh, my alcohol and I'm just going to spray the top of each one. And that will help those bubbles disappear. Then set this aside. You can either let it cool at room temperature or you can put it in the fridge to help them firm up a little bit faster. While we are waiting for our soap to set up, I thought I would just talk to you really quick about silicone molds. These are just some of the silicone molds that I have for soap making. And I love the silicone molds because they you can move them, you can pop the soap out of them really pretty easily because the molds are so, um, you know, they're not so stiff. There are plastic tray molds that you can get for soaps as well. And I have used those, but they aren't my favorite just because like I said, the soap is so easy to pop out of these silicone molds. Now, this is actually like a cupcake mold that I have used for soap making as well. So really any type of silicone mold, whether it's for candy baking or cupcakes or whatever, will work for soap making. My owl shaped soap is set and ready to be popped out of the silicone mold. This sat in my fridge for probably I'd say probably about two hours and I can tell just by you know tapping on it everywhere that it's nice and hard and good and set up so let's go ahead and remove the soap so we can see what they look like I'm just gonna turn it upside down and just carefully peel back that silicone mold and look at those cute owls oh my gosh those are adorable. So stinking cute. They pop out so easily. And they are each so cute, completely unique. Green. Wouldn't these make a, a, such a great little gift? or just to have by your guest bathroom sink. So stinking cute. I love making molds or soap with molds just because, I mean, how can you not? Aren't those so fun? Give them as a gift or use them yourself and just every time you wash your hands, you will smile. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I would love for you to follow my YouTube channel and you can also check me out at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.